So in this video we're going to talk about JavaScript symbols which have come to ES6. Um, although they're one of the easiest APIs to use, they're one of, I think, the hardest to understand. Um, so before we go too far in depth, I'll make a file called symbol.js. Um, so I want to talk about the type system of JavaScript. So for the longest time, JavaScript has um, you know six different types. So you've got things can be undefined, they can be null, they can be a boolean of some sort, true or false, they can be a number, they can be a string, and they can be an object. And this, uh, for those that don't know, includes arrays. Arrays come back as type object. So um, everything in JavaScript needs to be one of these six uh, types. And so in order to understand what symbols are, it's important, I think, to understand where they fit in. So symbols are the seventh type uh, inside JavaScript. Um, so very much they fit in on the same level of object, string, number, boolean, all those things. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about the API, and then maybe we'll discuss a little bit about why they're, why they're useful. So in order to create a symbol is very simple. You can do something like var sim equals, and then just like you would do with number or anything like that, you can do uh, this way. Um, and then you could do something like console log, and you could do type of sim. And let's go ahead and run that node. And we have type of symbol. So like I said before, these aren't built on top of strings or objects or anything like that. They really are their own type. Um, What's interesting, though, is that, um, let's, I guess, let, let me show an example of it, because um, maybe that'll make it a little bit more clear. So let's go back into here, um, some of the nuances of symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, and I'm going to do a console log. Let's do symbol of foo is strictly equal to symbol of foo. Um, so maybe take a second and make a guess what you think this will return. Uh, it's a new symbol declaration of the same thing. Um, so let's go ahead and run it with node. Uh, and it's false. Um, so it's kind of interesting to look at though because we could do something like console log, um, you know, number of three or two <laughs> um, is triple equal to number of three. Let me go ahead and run both of those now. Um, so when you take any other types like um, objects or you take numbers or strings, anything like that, and you do this triple equals, um, it, it, it's the same. It, it, uh, triple equals will return true. However, when you do it with symbols, it returns false. And this kind of gets into some of the nuances here. Um, the difference is when you make a number with this value of three, it really is type number value three. When you make a symbol, it is type symbol, but this is not the value that you're getting back. This is merely a, what's called a description of the symbol. Um, and that kind of gets into where things are really useful. So uh, somebody at MDN, Jason Orendorf, um, I think he's the person that implemented the symbol API in Mozilla. He had this really cool article where basically he was talking about if you've got some CSS project you're working on, and all over the code base you've got these elements, right? And what you want to do is you want to add an animation to the element. Um, so if you go over and you add animations to every single element, uh, you get all this screen jank because sometimes they're already trying to move and you add an animation on top of an animation, something like that. And so basically what you want to do is you want to add some kind of property to each element that's like something like is moving. Uh, and that should come back either true or false, right? Just like a Boolean. Uh, the problem there, especially if you're if these elements are created by somebody else's API, um, that you might run into these naming collisions, right? Like it already might have an is moving. Maybe it's a jQuery element, or maybe the CSS animation library you're using. Um, and so it's kind of bad practice to add your own keys, like is moving, onto somebody else's element or somebody else's object, right? So one thing that people do pretty often. Um, is they'll make some kind of like random string generator or something like that, right? Um, and so then you can make a new variable like is moving something like that, uh, and you can set it to this like uh, you know whatever dot gen generate string something like that, right? And maybe make it that many digits. Um, so we get this you know hopefully very unique number back or string of letters or whatever back and then from then on we can do something like this um, and we don't get true and false anymore uh, now we have basically uh, you can check it against uh, you know the is moving variable um, and it'll either match that or it won't match that 
Um, so this is, I guess, fine, except, again, it's getting, like, pretty unwieldy, um, and you're no longer able to check, like, a true or false or anything like that, and you still run a very low risk of naming collisions, but it's also, like, these magic numbers in your code base, things like that. So this is where symbols come in really handy. Um, so you can do something like bar is moving equals, and then you can make a symbol. Uh, the description is is moving, right? But remember, this is not the value of the symbol, right? Um, it is just a description for it. And then anywhere you want, you can do element is moving. And this is important because the is moving variable is not going to have a name collision. It's not the actual word is moving. It's the value of this unique symbol that's unequal to anything else. So it's really cool. Basically, I think the takeaway that I would give from this is symbols are a brand new type to the type system. And what they allow you to do is they allow you to give in a predictable description, like is moving, and then they generate a unique value for it. So anytime you can ever think of needing to tag your code in some unique way, symbols are the answer for that. Uh, I hope that helps.